Hello, folks. How we doing? There it goes. Oh, I forgot to give welcome, you... Welcome, everyone. I forgot to give you the little Glaceon hat. There we go. That's important. Oh, I hope everyone's having a good evening. I'm having a good evening. How are you? How are you, Aimless? I just got home from work, like, an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, How was work, then? Not bad. Okay. Short and simple, as I tend to enjoy it. Well, it's good, at least. Blinky and Lux a little. That's the two. Oh, yeah. Right. That's right. We've had Lux a little for a while. Blinky is relatively new. Yeah. Uh, we can get an encounter real quick. Yes, we should do that. <laughs> so I have a chance of getting uh, an actual fucking fairy type. Fairy type, mm -hmm. yeah. It's wild to me that the Chansey line aren't fairy types. That's so weird. Yep. That is very odd. I absolutely agree with you on that one. Of all of them, I would have expected uh, the Chansey line to be very brought into the fairy typing. Also, hello, Death. Hello, Genie. I hope you're both doing well. I hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, I hope everybody's having a good evening. Doing pretty really good, I think. I had a nice relaxing day. And by relaxing, I mean yeah, half yeah. of it was really stressful and the other half of it was relaxing. <laughs> I spent the majority of my day doing stuff for the VTuber Awards and also, uh, like, yeah. you know, spent my morning in a doctor's office waiting for like an hour. <laughs> Just so they could tell you, yep, that's sprained, all right. Yeah, just so they could be like, yep, you've got a sprained ankle. Anyways, bye. Here's your note. Send you on your way. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I've never had to... The only time I've ever had to get, like, a written thing for work to pay me was during... Uh, the pandemic and uh, because I did like towards the later end of it eventually end up getting COVID yeah I I mean I left work early um yesterday mm -hmm. but I don't really care because I left with like two hours to spare so I'm like if I don't get paid for those two hours whatever that's that's not gonna like yeah. be a big deal. I don't really give a shit. Um. But. Like, I'm, I'm very fortunate that they want to, like, if I need time off, like, they want to make sure that I've got all the stuff so that they can compensate that properly and all of that. They're very, uh, organized. Yeah, which is very much unlike my last job, so it's a refreshing change of pace. It's like, got hurt at work? Eh, fuck it, just take the week off. No, we can't pay you for it. Yeah, well, at my last job it was, oh, you got hurt at work? Well, yeah, I know we should sh send you home, but, um, we really need the help. What, you can't walk? Oh, well, uh, you know, you could sit on a chair. Yeah, come in anyway. Just, just sit down. Whereas, like, you know, I said that I think I need to go home. My supervisor was like, okay, don't worry about it. Like, I'll cover you for the rest of today. And then when I texted her today, like, what the doctor said, she was like, okay, well, just, like, if you feel Monday evening, like, or if you feel Sunday evening, like, it might be too rough for you on Monday, just let me know and... Like, you can have the day yeah. off. I, I'd rather you take care of yourself. And I'm yeah. like, that's wild. <laughs> that's crazy. 
having a workplace that cares like that. Absolutely. I am at a gem if you are ready. I am too. Okay. Alright, let's see. What's our- what was our ruling on Ditto? Uh... I mean, it counts as its own Pokémon. It's- it's not like it's- I- I know it's every Pokémon and no Pokémon at the same time, but it's still Ditto. It's- it is what it is. Well, then I found a I might, Ditto. <laughs> I might have to reroll. all- uh... Did we have a combi at any point? Uh... I feel like we did. I want to say yes. Hang on. I feel like I had the combi and it was a male. Oh my god. Shooty. Okay. Uh, I will stretch. I will make sure I'm sitting up yeah. straight. I will hydrate. Uh, I will... Uh, my, my compliment to myself is that, uh, you know, I did injure myself trying to, you know, make sure a child didn't get severely injured. So I... I like to think that I'm... <sighs> I like to think I have people's best interest at heart. That's the compliment. <sighs> I don't want to ditto. Yeah, you don't want to- you don't want to ditto? I don't. I know ditto can be really good just because, like, again, it can be whatever. Uh-huh. But... It really comes <sighs> down to, like, that's a very situational Pokemon right there. Yeah. I'll- I'll very catch it regardless, obviously, but... I am <sighs> peeking. I do not want to be peeking. Bapple a good in. person. I like to try to be. <laughs> but There are times when I have to not be a good person. Sometimes. But, you know. Sometimes it is deserved. There we go. Yeah, but yes, for those who didn't know, uh, I suffered an injury at work yesterday um, because I was going to change the diaper of a child. She was like wiggling in my- Oh, this ditto has imposter! Wait a second! Wait a fucking second! That changes everything! Uh oh. Oh, that- it comes out as the Pokemon. It comes out as the Pokemon and it gets the Pokemon's like- Full moveset. full move set. So it's not just the transform like you only have five PP. So oh, if it just great. yeah, if it just happens to become something good, that actually can be Bad. really, really good. Ooh. Hang yeah. on. Hang on. I'm changing my thoughts about this ditto. This might be great. Yeah, okay, so I ran into a Vespa Quinn. Uh, I had the combi, it was like our third encounter. Yeah. Um... <laughs> which, Vestival Quinn already... It, it's okay. It's not the best, it's just okay. I like Vestival Quinn. I enjoy using one. It's definitely a cool one. Like, one of- <laughs> definitely one of the cooler mods out there, in my opinion. Yeah. I really liked using mine in, uh... In, uh... Really a diamond shining pearl. The one time I played through that game. <laughs> I had to, yeah, I had to play through it twice. I had to play through diamond first, failed that Nuzlocke, and then played through pearl where I played it way safer. Alright. Got a shrewdle, right? Uh. Did we? I'm not. Oh wait, no. I have the thing that it evolves into. Okay. Yeah, I have granola. Granola. <laughs> That's what we named. <laughs> yeah, <it>. yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, Never mm -hmm. mind. Next. <laughs> well, I'll just sit here and wait with my ditto and continue telling my story. So, yeah. Kid was struggling to, like, get on my arms because he just really doesn't like having his bum changed. As, you know, most two-year-olds. Um, and he started to, like, actually slip and, like, fall to the ground. And it, like was probably gonna hit his head, so I, like, quickly reached out and grabbed him. And in the process, tripped over my own ankle. Ah. Uh. And, like, twisted it, banged it up. Kid ended up kind of falling with me. He got a bumped lip. And I got an ankle injury. Okay. What'd you get? Palo sand. Oh, palo sand's not bad. No, uh, it, it's the the first stage of it. I don't know if that's what that's called. Oh, the first stage is uh, sandy gast. Sandy gast. Yes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I've got a palo sand in the wings. That's that's a ghost type. I'll take that. With a water terra. Paloto. I'm trying to think of a name. Sandy Toe. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that one. No, me neither. Uh... I'm trying to decide who I want. It's a Water Terra. Yes, Malaise is here up. Or is going to cannon you? Actually, hang on. I want... Palo Sand has some sort of ability it can get with... that's like water compaction, and I don't remember what that does. Water compaction? It's probably a defense move. I want to say it's like... It's... Yeah, it raises its defense when it's hit by a water type move. I wonder if it'll have that. Yeah. Did 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 dig ass. Okay. Now here, let me cook here. Uh huh. Uh, damned. Just damned. <laughs> D-A-N-D, Dan. Dan. I love it. Dan. Dando. D-N-D-O. D-A-N-D-O. Dando. I like Dando. I'll add the O. Yeah, at least the kid wasn't seriously hurt. Exactly. He just got a bump. Yeah, and like... He I... was probably not too happy about it, though. No, actually, he was fine. <laughs> like, I think he was a little spooked by the fall, but he wasn't crying or anything. His lip was bleeding, so we gave him, like, a freezy... to help like soothe it and everything but yeah now you say freezy is that a canadian colloquialism because i don't know what you mean by that oh um what would what they, would they be called they're like called different things in like every place i swear describe just describe what it is it, it's like it's like the flavored ice thing an ice pop uh Type thing. Yeah, okay. It's not a popsicle. It's different. Oh, is it? It's is like it a the plastic. Yeah, it's like tube. in a little plastic tube. It's filled with frozen juice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we call them freezies. 
I've heard. I think I've heard that one before. The one that I would when we when I grew up, I always heard of it as Otter Pop. Uh, the fuck is just... an Otter Pop? No clue. That okay. I think that came from the mascot. That absolutely sounds like something us Canadian ass people would come up with, with food like beaver know. tails. Um, but no, like, the, I think just the kid, kids called them Otter Pops because the box had an otter on them. I, oh, okay. Like, that was, like, that was the mascot. It was the otter, like, in a swimming position holding, like, a rainbow of Freezy Pops. Yeah, you had your purple. The blue flavor was the best. Hands down, because it's the blue flavor. Uh, what are we <laughs> The gonna... blue flavor. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of compaction. Cool. Nice. That's that's pretty sick. Oh boy. Here's uh, here's a question to folks out there. Why is blue raspberry a thing? Like I'm happy it is. I like blue raspberry, oh, but where did that come from? I know about <sighs> this. I kind of know about this. Oh, do you actually? Like I was just I, I was basically just inviting people to make up their dumbass theories, but if you actually know, I'm curious. No, I learned about this from a uh, food theory. Okay. Uh, you know the whole the game theory guy. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, it's one of his food theory videos. Um, That's just a theory, a food theory. Specifically about blue raspberry. Okay. Um, in the end, it really boiled down to uh, all of the you know. It's banned in most countries except for America. That red dye number five, I think it is. Uh huh. Um, just that red, that specific, a specific red food dye, uh, was discovered to cause cancer. Yeah. And a whole lot of people went crazy in America, paranoid about it, and they were like, "Well, uh, we have this, re we have this." Uh, blue coloring that's fine but we don't have a flavoring to give it and so they basically just invented blue raspberry huh um that and a lot of pre-existing raspberry candies just shifted the their color just shift changed the color didn't have to change anything else but it all boiled down to that uh red dye scare interesting Alright, Dando, you're going to the box for now. I might, I might want to pull Dando out. I wouldn't be opposed now that I know that my Dando has imposter and not just transform. Because the shitty thing about transform mm. is that, like, you have the 5 PP on each move. Yeah, it doesn't, it gives you fuck all to work with. So it's like, yeah, you could get a really good move, but you only have that 5 PP. Mm -hmm. Whereas that move might normally have something like 20. But with yeah. Imposter, that's just... It's not the case. You just get whatever. Yeah. And that would be really good. Yeah. Imposter is a sick, sick uh, ability. Okay. We've got everyone trained up. And you said that thing is fairy terror, right? It is. That, yeah, actually, that could be really good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> especially going up against... Maybe not. Um, she does have a dragon. Nimona does. Got Gudra. Yeah. Penny, again, we shouldn't have a problem. I, I'm, I'm confident. I'm not worried about Penny. Yeah. <coughs> and just wait, Penny's gonna fucking, like, wipe one of our team members just because we're both like, Yeah, Penny will be fine! Yeah, we'll be alright. Uh... It's fine, it's just tight matchups. She's gonna come at us with a fucking nuke. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... She's gonna start with Umbreon. Mm-hmm. 
I'm grabbing one more leftovers before we go for it. Go because I, might... I want to give Blissey leftovers. I sell them at the Deli Bird Presents, right? Yeah, Deli. Yeah. I think all of them sell that. Sell those items. Not this one, apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's right. I gotta sell a whole bunch of junk. Go up to Penny. We're taking your lunch, lunch money, nerd. Probably has leftovers. <laughs> I think the ones in uh the one possibly the one in Mesa goes up, possibly the one where are, which one have you checked? I went to the one in Lavencia. Okay. Uh Mesa goes up or the water gym place. Casa Frasa? I'll try that one. Casa whatever. Casa Carafa. I don't know. How do you pronounce that? That's a, that's a Barassa or whatever. Sassafras. S I was about to say Sassafras. <laughs> eat fast, eat ass. <laughs> Alright, one sec. Where's the deli bird? Over there, apparently. This away. Fuck your elevators. I'm gonna jump over the entire city. My cat was screaming at me because she was hungry. Oh, Lucky was doing that to me earlier. Alright. I gotta figure out who I'm gonna bring out for this... For this the one. first Pokemon. It's called a name the developers came up with by smashing a keyboard and adding some random vowels. The first D&D &D yeah. game I ever ran, I came up with, like, cities and towns basically with that where i took a word like just a short simple word and i just added some letters to it that just sounds like a pretty <laughs> decent just way of doing it it wasn't bad Okay, if she leads with Umbreon. Yeah, something fighting up front. Tark is an annoying type. It really is. Okay, or fairy. Yeah, I get fairy up front. If you have anything that can use fairy moves. Uh, or bug. Swabita's got Moonblast. So. Yeah, you'll probably be able to outspeed it regardless. I, I would uh, imagine. Because Umbreon's, as I came to discover, are slow and tanky. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. No, they're super tanky, actually. Especially like in the early gens, they're they're a good solid tank. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. This I town is Dialdoa. Okay, that's actually not a bad name though. Like Dialdoa is a pretty solid town name for like a fantasy world, at least. I live in Dialdoa. 
I live in Doa Dial. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to take on this bitch. Think yeah, whatever. Go. What items do I have for Swabita, actually? Swabita's had this dragon thing, and I, like, hardly ever use dragon bulls. Yeah, you... That's kind of funny. Swabita's been your fairy-type... Honestly! Rather than anything else. <laughs> Re rather than the actual dragon counter. And then, like, you know, my tank as well. With Cotton Guard. Yeah, absolutely. Just like a well-rounded <laughs> utility... utility mon. Yeah. Um... I don't know what I want you to have. Uh... I would also be wary of Umbreon because it has Synchronize. So don't, don't status affect it. I was just gonna Moonblast it to death. Sounds good. I gave her wise glasses. That way she can be a quick wiser. <laughs> Raising her wisdom stat. Don't status effect the Jolteon either, because it gets faster. <sighs> to be honest, yeah, I wasn't that. super planning on status affecting any of them. I don't even know how many status moves I know, with the exception of, like... <sighs> Didn't we both use Toxic Spikes for a while? Yeah. But I got Sludge Bomb on Litter instead. That's... that's fair. That works. Okay. Uh, I am ready. I think we just have to go to... Where do we have to go to? I think we just need to go, like, inside the university, don't we? To, like, Is some it place? Is schoolyard? Because I'm inside the academy right now. I don't know, man. Uh. <laughs> I'll go to the schoolyard. I'll let you know. Ugh, seeing those Noibats. Oh, yep, it's the schoolyard. Still chug to fly from far away is sad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where yeah. is the schoolyard? <laughs> I love how they just, like, they don't even try to hide it with the outfit. And they just blatantly name them Cassiopeia. Like, no shit, it's Penny. What? Yeah. It was... They could have at least, like, put a jacket on or, like, left the backpack. Where's the schoolyard? Am I dumb? Uh, go to the little screen thing at the front desk. Oh, right. There's that. And you should just be able to teleport from there. The school store? There's a school store? So. Probably. All right, let's go, bitch. Ugh, I want that backpack. I want that backpack so much. I guarantee you, somewhere on Etsy, you can find one. Oh, I'm confident. I'm confident of that. Are you ready? Oh man, I never saw this coming. It's not like you both talked about your hacking skills. And it's not like you would show up after everything with Cassiopeia. 
That backpack is actual merch, by the way. Oh, I'm confident it is. I'm just poor. I still need the giant whale lord plushie. That's a priority. <laughs> That's what my subathon fund should go towards. All the money Damn. I make for my birthday subathon is going towards the like five hundred dollar giant whale lord body pillow. I have a hard time if they made the uh, <laughs> like a life. They've they've been doing a lot more life size ones. Yeah. If they did like a life size Lucario. Not oh. like, not Lucar. sorry, Flygon. Blech, my mind was out there for a minute. Flygon. I guarantee you they made a Lucario. Oh, I, if they haven't yet, I'm confident they will. You want a life-size Furret, that's so fair. The Furret one's really cute. Furret's one of those Pokemon that is way bigger than what I think anyone thought. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Six feet long? That's insane. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love it. That's longer than a Charizard is tall. Okay, Umbreon, down. Play rough. Luxalil, show me what you got. Oh great, it's just baby dollizing me. Yeah, no, the music in this slaps so hard, Duff. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> it goes. It really do just go. Okay, Corian oh. also get down. Better. Easy. Good crit. Umbreon's out. Flareon. Okay. The only thing I'm worried about is that ice move. What all does Flareon got? Does it have a dark move uh, at all? No, it's just fire. Flare Blitz and Fire Spin. Then we're freaking fine. This Flareon can't even touch me then. You can't hurt me with quick attack, and if you hurt me with a fairy move, my fairy my fire attack or a fire move, my fire attacks get stronger. Go yep, on. It's... I dare you. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Baby doll eyes. Sure. I can I can sword stance if you really want to play that game. <laughs> oh right, Sovita was here to take <laughs> out the Vaporeon. It's fine. I'll just that shadow claw you. Oh, Flareon's out. That's not what I expected. I, I mean, mean still. Death Toby Fox did a lot of the music for this game. I think he did, like, most of the Maybe soundtrack. Not if not all. I, did, I forget who they were sending out next. Jolteon. I'm gonna get Hax Edge in to deal with this Flareon. I made an oops. What moves does Jolteon have? Thunder and Pin Missile. Pin Missile. Weird. Okay. And Quick Attack. They all have Quick Attack. Yeah. Quick Attack I'm not too worried about. You can keep Flare Blitzing all you want. Take a moment. God, their blade is so good. Just being able to hit them like a truck and also steal a good chunk of their health. Yeah, it's one of the most busted moves I think they could give a fire type. It's so good.
I really got so insanely lucky with Hack's Edge. We oh, both yeah. did, honestly. Yeah. Hack's Edge is like, mwah, for both of us. Absolutely. I'm just letting- I'm kind of just letting this flare, Flareon kill itself. Yeah, valid. While I'm swords dancing up. Aww. Yeah, just keep doing that. It's totally fine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just hyper potion. Leafeon, you're so cute. Anyways. You know what I wish they didn't take- like, I'm- <laughs> I'm not... I'm glad in a Nuzlocke sense that they got rid of it, but not in like a regular gameplay sense. Uh, the trainer's healing in battle. Yeah. Like, your rival fight, the gym fights, they would have like at least one or two of whatever their level of... Uh, uh, potion was. Up to and including four restores. Are you are you okay just sacrificing your Flareon like this? I'm just boosting my HP my attack. This Flareon is almost dead. You you really okay with just watching this murder? Yeah, like <sighs> you just gonna let this happen? It's kinda fucked up! Because what I'm now planning on doing is uh, ah. crystallizing. Hi, Kiro. In Fury. Hey, Gengar is still faster than Sylveon, so I should be able to kill it. The Sludge Bomb. Yeah, she just kamikaze Flareon with Flare Blitz. Damn. Hey, Flareon's next. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. Flareon's her oh. least favorite, I guess. I guess. <sighs> Alright, well, I beat her. Battle, yeah. I just got to the Vaporeon. Speed tie, but it's okay, because she used baby doll eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she could've, but she didn't. And that's all that matters, Kiro. Axe Edge is now a fairy type, and thus not a... to worry about ice move. Oh, it uses baby doll eyes anyway. I mean, still times five, I think. No, I'm gonna keep. It. What? What? You're gonna hate me. What happened? Thunder happened. To who? Axe Edge. And? Yeah, bad thing. Jesus, okay. I'm... Are they dead? Yes. I'm just gonna come out and say that, yes. Well, guys, this stream has been really fun. Um, I'm gonna never stream again and <laughs> go cry for the rest of my life. No. Anyways! No, it's fine. It happens fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad about it too. Don't you worry. I was literally just saying! I thought I would be faster. <laughs> the accent is like, Yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> I don't think you heard any of those over Discord. Because they were all peeking <laughs> my mic so hard. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 
Kiro, now is not the time for everything is worse now. I mean, yes, everything is worse now, but... Uh, hang on. Okay. Move info. Do any of these go fast? My oh, heart is broken! Baby doll eyes now. My heart is broken! Ah! <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a bad time. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep up. <laughs> the mic thing for too long. I was nice and didn't do it to Aimless, even though I was tempted to. <laughs> I would have deserved it. It's fair. <laughs> oh my heart! Everything totally is, is worse on. now. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I think I'll be okay. Wait a minute. God damn it. Okay, I'm fine. I was gonna say, is Litleo a fire dark type? This is the worst fucking day of my life. Uh, <laughs> worst, I... worst day of your life so far. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, like... I'm none too pleased. I'm actually crying. I know crying. it doesn't sound like it. Uh, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's a game. I'll get over it. I'm just like, uh. I would also like to point out that it was entirely my fault. Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! I need to clip the worst day of your life so far, though. Holy shit, the savagery. <laughs> Everything Twilly is worse now. Alright. I don't even care. I don't even care about the beautiful story. I'm just heartbroken. And I finished my coffee. It's the worst fucking day. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Hey, Blinky. <sighs> you got this. That's it's gonna be very. such a weird fusion to draw, too! <laughs> it's gonna be- oh, no, okay. It's gonna be kick-ass, because there is <laughs> most certainly some kick-ass fusion out there. Yeah, I- Like, I can just <sighs> see a purple flaming Haxorus with blade hands. You know that's out there. I'm confident I can find something. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, whoops. Hax Edge was like uh, my team MVP. That's really terrifying now. Fairy type. Jeez, there's nothing to. I just got a raid. Your wife, Ubepis. Welcome to the worst day of Apple's life. Thank Everything you for the raid. is worse now! Okay, I think it just used baby doll eyes. Everything is worse. I... Everything oh, is worse now! Well, welcome, Beppus. <laughs> How are you doing? What were you doing? How and how is your day going? To me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to happen. run. This life goes on as I fade it away. BV power will crush you into stardust. <laughs> 
It's not very effective, is it? Oh, that's right. Get her smack. Oh, but it lowered your special attack. <laughs> I love the fact that Penny's just like, oh yeah, so all the league points I gave, I uh, illegally, yeah, I stole like, stole them. Yeah, I, I stole them. And then mm -hmm. Clavel is like, oh, well that's quite the revelation. And she's like, yeah, it wasn't even that hard. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, damn. <laughs> like, yeah, you need to fix your, you need to fix your, get better security. Yeah, y'all uh, need better sorry. security. What the fuck? It's like, if you didn't want me to seal it, why is security shit? <sighs> okay. Just gonna gigaton hammer it. Finally. I just... Fuck. Also important thing to note, I've lost both of our aces. Yeah! <laughs> that is important to note! It's been... it's been my fault. I do think most of the deaths have been on my end, though. I haven't been keeping track. Normally I do. <laughs> I do every time Arkdon and I do a Nuzlocke together, but... I, I do think a lot of them have been on your end. I have been debating, though, going back and doing, like, uh... Going through all the old VODs and compiling, uh -huh. like, a death compilation. That would be, that'd be cool. It would hurt my soul, but... Like, here's where this one died, here's when this one died... It would also just be a lot of work to, like, go through all the VODs, but... Mm -hmm. I, I've been wanting to do that with my Nuzlocks, I just, it's been too much work. So, that's why right. I haven't. Yeah, I don't know... I know I just started, uh... Pokemon White. Oh, so good. Randomized and Nuzlocking it. Which has been interesting. <laughs> I got a Venusaur. Right I, out of the gate. I've been uh, looking into doing crowd control stuff because I have a lot of friends who do like crowd control game stuff. And I think it would be fun. I've always liked, you know, doing messing around in other people's streams when they have crowd control on uh oh um so i've been like looking into games that the main like crowd control app supports what is the crowd control again is that the uh they vote and yeah oh, it's like, like you could mod? you could uh use stuff like channel points and bits to basically like um like spawn shit into games Mm -hmm. Or, uh, like, mess with controls, or all sorts of fun Force stuff. inputs and things like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, gotcha. And there's a lot of support for, like, the older Pokemon games. Oh, like, yikes. That could be bad. <laughs> like, uh, Red, Blue, uh, Crystal, and then Fire Red, and, uh... Emerald. And I'm like, that sounds really fun. Especially because a lot of those is just like, you can literally spawn just a specific Pokemon in. You're like, this is what you're gonna mm -hmm. run into next. Level 100 Arceus. No, it's like, it spawns it into their party. Oh, okay. So That'd it's like, cool. here, here you are, just have a freaking Charizard. I don't think I'd want to nuzlock it because that would be 
hell with that, but I think it would be fun just to, just to like do a run of one of those games. Yeah, it's strangely, uh, like both exciting and terrifying doing a randomized Nuzlocke of these games. Oh yeah, no, I've done tons of randomized content, but this would be random in the sense of like. People could. People, people have the power, like, Twitch, Twitch chat has the power to influence the game. Yeah. So whether people want to be nice to me, whether they want to be, like, mean to me, that's totally up to them. And that's... The reality is whatever they want it to be. And that's the fucked up thing. I'm at the mercy of the folks on my streams. Like, hey, that, that move you've been using that you're really attached to, that you're, uh, that you've got, mm, that's something else now. Yeah, I don't remember all of the different inputs, but there were some neat ones. There's a good one for Ocarina of Time, too. That would be insane if you could just remove moves from somebody's, from a, a Pokemon's, uh, list mid-battle. But that's the way, like, some of these are. Like, I was looking at the one for Celeste, because I'm playing through Celeste again right now. And it's like, mm -hmm. some of these just make the game, like, impossible. Yeah, suddenly you don't have this, the ability to jump. Suddenly you just can't dash in the air. And it's like, how? How do I do this, then? I don't know. I was messing around on, like, a friend's uh, Ocarina of Time one, but some of those redeems were really fun. It was stuff like, you know, you can summon a bunch of cuckoos to all of a sudden, like, start pecking at Link. Or, you know, you could just send Link knocked back into the world. You can make it sun or make it nighttime. Like, you know. <sighs> yeah, I'm just getting through the cutscene now. Alright. Well, now who are we gonna add? <laughs> I think we can add, um,. Dando. Yeah, that's probably the the best option that we have right now. Mm-hmm. I need to think of which of Nimona's Pokemon I wanna imposter into. You have a couple good, like, decent options. Yeah. Well, time to grind more EXP candies. <laughs> yep. Uh. Unexpected grinding. Everything truly is worse now. You know who would have helped, though? Hacks Edge. Death, don't rub it in. My heart is hurting enough. I can't. I can't take this. Yeah, we'll be fine. My beautiful child. My son. I think the only thing that could be better then that combo is if we both got, like, pseudo-legendaries in the next one. I don't see that happening, unfortunately. It would be nice. Me neither. <laughs> but... Maybe, yeah. Like, if you got, like, a Gardevoir and I got a Salamence. Is Gardevoir a pseudo? I don't think so. I mean, Gardevoir is really good. Not, I'd happily take still... one, but... 
I want like. Let's or, forget um, pseudo. Would you count? Uh. Gosh, what's it called? The stealth bomber one. Dragalock? Yeah, I'd love a Dragapult. Dragapult, there Dragapult it is. would be sick. I'd love a Dragapult. Oh man, you know who would be great for this grass type raid? Hexage! A flying type. I just didn't expect. You no, know, I probably should have. I didn't expect Thunder to hit that hard. Normally, I don't hit keep that. this model for this long, by the way, but because everything truly is worse now, I feel like I got it. <clears throat> I'm gonna spare everyone the pain of me doing the voice all this time, but. No one wants that. Uh, nope, no one wants that. He misses you, Papal, and he also blames Aimless fully. As he damn well should! Also, hi, Crystal. I, I hope you're doing well. Calculated. If it helps. <coughs> I also nearly lost us litter during that. Oh, did you? The only reason I did, I had the exact same situation where mm -hmm. it was a speed tie between Gengar and Sylveon. Another hit from Sylveon, like another Shadow Ball, absolutely would have knocked me out. But uh -huh. it just happened to use Baby Doll Eyes instead. <laughs> Just got lucky. Yeah. I thought I was faster, but we happened to be speed tied and I just got lucky. But like, what are the chances <laughs> of it deciding nah? Just friendly reminder to everyone, if we lose a Pokemon during the terror raid, it does not matter. Yeah, the raids don't count. Only if we lose a Pokemon to like a trainer or wild Pokemon, not not a Terra. <laughs> also, to those who might be coming in, this is the everything is worse now model. I usually also do this awful voice with it because it's supposed to be based on Neon Neko Sugar Girls, which has supreme voice acting, as you can tell. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I haven't done it again. <laughs> Even oh. I have 24k. I'll never forget how excited I was the first time it got redeemed. Cause like, I got this model, set it up, and then I think the next stream I did, uh, uh, specifically Gazbang Goblin, uh -huh. redeemed it. And I was like, I was not expecting this to happen so soon, especially because I put it, like, so high. Didn't expect anybody would actually have that much yet. Yeah. Or if they did, like, I figured, I don't know, maybe it would take, like, even just a stream or two. Like, maybe they were super close, but... Gaz is someone who... Very, very lovely goblin. Like, constantly lurks in everyone's streams. Literally constantly. Everywhere. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if Gaz is currently lurking.
We are always watching. Which I appreciate! Like, lurkers are the backbone of anyone's streams. But yeah, I just- I, I wasn't expecting anyone to have that much yet. So when someone actually did, I was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, let's have some fun. <laughs> And I don't- I don't hate you guys, I will only ever make the- it be my webcam mic for like a few seconds and then <laughs> turn it back. I want to know what Palisand can learn. What, what is that? What Pokemon is that? What are you looking at? This terror raid, what is that? Oh, I'm waiting for your stream to catch up. <laughs> oh! Uh, Sandaconda, I think. Oh, that makes sense. I think. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Now that I'm thinking about it. It round... Okay, by leveling up. Okay, not bad. Uh, uh, I want you to learn Earthquake, ow, though. Ow, 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 my ankle. Okay. Like maybe... I am, I am an injured goblin. Both Don't wounded. Again. Both wounded in my ankle and in my heart. <laughs> You just don't want the lawsuits from the ear damage the other mic would cause. I mean, you're not incorrect. I just know, too, that that would, like, you know, be difficult for me to listen to, so I don't want to do that to anyone else. Darn, I'll have to find an Earthquake TM. Trademark Earthquake. Trademark Earthquake. Yeah, I still can't get it out of my head every time I see those moves. There's nothing worse than being in a terror raid and getting, like, status. Yeah, that's definitely how I felt when I was up against a four-star Oricorio. Yeah. And I remember the Oricorio! It would not only teeter dance me, but uh, paralyze me as well. It was... Annoying. Yeah, I'm paralyzed right now due to glare. And it's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> let me just, just let me do my thing. Come on, please. <laughs> I just want to be able to punch you. <laughs> let me punch you. And just every death takes off so much of the thing, too. Like so much time remaining. Yeah, it's based on your it's based on your level. I know. Stop! Don't 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 glare again. Stop! Is grass? Grass is weak to bug, isn't it? I should have known that. He's a glary boy, apparently. <laughs> the 
and wanna... I need to get past this little, like, shield he's got, and then... Stop! I have been, like, unable to attack because I'm paralyzed, like, four times. And it's in that position where it's like, I know if I can hit him, I can do it. But because I just can't hit him because of the paralysis... Yeah, okay. That's... that's this lost. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm so pissed. Damn, I didn't know Santa Connor could be that annoying. It was just because I kept using Glare. And I also, like, it was a normal Terra, and I don't have anything, like, great to deal with normal, normal types. types. Yeah, we don't have... Neither of us have any good fighting types. Well... Yeah. My best one is Crabapple, and Crabominable's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, my best is uh, Breloom. Breloom's okay. Problem's alright. <coughs> Dying. Okay, who are we gonna send in this time? Oh, I got his Palisandoval. That's important to know. <laughs> Level 42. Yeah, I was gonna God. say, I think it's just level. Yeah. Uh, I, that's what I figured as well. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, no, good to double check just in case, but... Well, when in doubt... The very least, Swabita can't be hit by bulldoze. Try this again. Giga drink. God, it's dawning to, on me of what you said about Penny earlier happened about her destroying you. What did I fucking say? Yeah. You're being too cocky. Well, I've done I've done many Nuzlocke in my day. She didn't destroy us per se, but she did humble it. She at least humbled me. I know you can't go into any fight in a Nuzlocke feeling confident. Just keep whittling it down with Dragon Pulse. That's probably the best strategy. Oh, look, the Dragon Pulse <laughs> using Dragon Pulse. I'd call Babble pretty destroyed, emotionally, anyways. I'm gonna swap back to Babble. Regaining my spirit. Oops. There we go. I just... Again. <laughs> there's the emotional aspect of things, and then there's also just, like, Hack's Edge is, is, without a doubt, my MVP. And without, I'm very scared. Yeah, the rest of this game pulls very few punches. Yeah. Like, I feel like we at least get the option of choosing our Paradox Pokemon. I think that's fair. Uh, when we get down there, 
Oh crap, we're gonna have to beat the final boss in order to actually get... Okay. You don't really get to pick from any of the good ones. Unless... Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't fully remember when you can access... It's... it's the end end game. That's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I think we'll at least be able to get, uh, Iron Moth. I think Iron Moth will be around. We might be in the area for Iron Thorns. Dragon one is called. Oh, Iron uh, Judges. Ah. I didn't like that one. I'm just not a fan of the violet ones in general. I prefer the past paradoxes. That's fair. Personally. A good number of them are pretty miss. <laughs> <coughs> Anaconda, let us kill you, please. Please. Please let us kill you. Is that your second attempt? Yeah. And I'm like 95% sure I'm gonna fail this one too. <sighs> Yikes. I have very little time. God damn it. Yeah, kick me out of your fucking nest. I'm just gonna unmute the right I'm gonna move on to a different one. I'm wasting more time. Trying to beat this one than I am. Anything else? Damn you, yawn. Damn you, stockpile. we got here a fire cloister weird i have this pain of just like the constant man you know who would be great for this raid Yeah. Yeah. I don't imagine this cloister will actually have any fire moves. Take care of yourself, you death. Get some rest. And thank you, we'll need the luck.
paralyzing this fucking cloister straight up. The gate. Susan's scary face. <coughs> He's so mad at me. So anger. He's looking so scary. I'm just looking through the box and thinking, damn, I'd like to add this if the other thing didn't suck, or damn, it would be good if she had this if my thing didn't suck. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one issue with Soul Links. Is that it's oftentimes a case of like, oh yeah, this Pokemon's really great for me, but really sucks for this other person. Or just like, <laughs> like Miss Mish. Which is Breloom Miss Magius. That'd be great if you didn't already have another ghost type. I mean, I had two ghosts before. True. I wouldn't be opposed to it again. The only thing is, like, who to switch out. No worries if you can't, too, Kelsey. Like, take care of yourself first, obviously. <laughs> Hi, Dory. Um, we're emotionally, in terms of this Nuzlocke, I've been better. Yeah, we've we've been in better spots. Uh, I'll <laughs> say that. Uh huh. I'm just like, jeez. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Are you emotionally okay. damaged today? Uh, not for any other reason but just Nuzlocke's hurt the soul. Yeah. I am uh, physically damaged today. Currently in need of repair. Yeah. Guys, someone come to me and kiss my ankle better. Me, 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 me. Kelsey calls dibs. Alright, first you gotta find where I live, and I'm not gonna give you any hints or anything. Um, so that's task number one. To be honest, though, it is doing much better today than it was even doing yesterday, so. Like, the fact that I can actually move it is great. Yeah. I can walk on it, and it's, it's difficult, but not impossible. Whereas yesterday, it was like... The captain came to pick me up and he had to like help me out of the building and help me like up the stairs. Okay, I might succeed in this cloister actually. <clears throat> come on, come on you guys, we got this, we just gotta beat up a cloister. We did it! Is it swollen? No, it's just a really bad sprain. And I hit it like right where the bone is, so there's some like bad bruising. But aside from that, it's it's honestly not that bad. <laughs>
Yeah, I've done something like that to my wrist before. It was not fun. Yeah. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, so I'm... thankful that it isn't. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> okay, do we want to swap out team members? Or... I wouldn't be opposed to it. Um... But who? Hold on. Let me just take a look at what you've got. So I have a ghost type now. A ghost ground type at that. Uh... Are you more attached to uh, Smolantis or Luxalo? Smolantis. Okay. So I was thinking, could probably, like, I'd be adding, you know, a grass fighting to my team. You'd be adding a ghost. Mm -hmm. But I'd be swapping out just a straight up grass, and you'd be swapping out a electric. Yeah. Or Miss Mish. Miss Mish is solid in that, first of all, levitates, so can't be hurt by ground moves, which is just good. Absolutely great, yeah. Miss Magius can learn a lot of, like, varied moves. Like, kind of support moves almost? Like, like, has a lot of different type coverage. Right, right. Which is something that Gengar is unfortunately lacking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Gengar is shadow. Yeah. That's what you get. You so get, you get ghost type. This bitch would be would be fine. Like Or Luxalil, you think? Yeah, if we swapped out Luxalil. You know what I do kind of find funny? Mm. The Pokemon that both of us got, uh, uh, the Sandcastle and Ditto, uh -huh. are both amorphous blobs. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look very similar. They're just, they're just blobby boys. They're just, they're just little blobs, little blob beans hanging out. I just thought it was cute. Um, and then I don't have any others specifically. Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! I will hydrate. Thank you, Shooty. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do think that rounds out. That helps quite a bit, given Nimona's team. <clears throat> So I'm going to have to deal with a grass what, dirt what, type. What all does Nimona have? I know... So for you... M Nimona will have a uh, quack... Quote. Quack of all for you? Okay. Quack of all for you and Meowscarata for me. Yeah. Uh, she has a lichen rock. Uh, it looks like a morning or a day lichen rock. Okay. That should be fine with uh, small antis. She has a Gudra, which I still don't get how Gudra isn't dragon water in that form, but... I feel like uh, I can probably use Swabita as long as I can tear up Swabita. Yeah, it does no ice beam. Yeah, so as long as I can tear up Swabita. Yeah. Uh, we got a Dun Dun Sparse. <laughs> dun Dun! Okay. Uh, what moves with, does, does, does that did Don Sparse have? It has Dragon Rush, Drill Run, 
ground type and coil poison type. It's a status effect. And hyper drill, normal. Okay, so Miss Mesh would actually be really good for that. Yeah. Because drill run wouldn't be able to affect me, and neither would uh, the, the the hyper drill. Yep. Okay. And you could probably pack something to deal with normal type. What's good against normal type? It's just fighting. Wow. Yeah. Normal type, jeez. Okay, what else? Uh, an earthworm. <sighs> yeah, steel. If only I had my fire type! <laughs> yeah. It knows iron tail, mm -hmm. uh, body press, earthquake, and rock blast. It also has the earth eater ability. Don't hit it with ground attacks. It heals. I don't. I don't have any ground. Anything on my Good. team. Good. I do. <laughs> An old dando. Uh, then she's got a palmot. Yes. And double shock, close combat, ice punch, quick attack. Ice punch. I don't like that. Okay. Can. She's got a lot of ground moves. Miss Mish. Of... Learn mm. a good fire move. She could probably learn flamethrower. She cannot. I just checked. Yikes. Alright, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. I will BRB. But... Blinky can... Learn Flamethrower. Interesting. I could teach it Terra Blast. But I need... I feel like I need Swabita to deal with Gudra. Unless someone else can write a fairy move? Can Miss Mish learn any fairy moves? That's what I'm trying to find out. So I'm trying to use the Terras to my advantage if I can. Because Miss Mish has a fire Terra. Ooh, Breloom has an ice Terra. But Miss Mish, like not seem to learn any fire moves, so I just have to use Terra Blast. I mean, Terra Blast is still a pretty strong move. Yeah. So... Like, you're, you're not losing much except for it's a special attack, and unless it's a special mm -hmm. attacking Mon. Okay, okay, I've gotta think like, this through. Could be. I, I need, like, I need to write this down. I need, like, a pen and fucking paper. Like, I need to... Oh, oh, right. You need a fucking cork cord and some string. Hang on, hang on, everyone. We're opening up a paint document. So we got Nimona, and, uh, these are her Pokemon here. Kay. They have these moves. Yeah, basically. We're opening up a fucking MS Paint document. Now, Miss Mish can learn. Uh, okay, okay, and that so. Can counter 
We got Nomona. Okay. All right. So. She's got Qua Qua Vault. I'm doing this in the worst way I could. This would have been so much easier if I opened up like a notepad document. Why did I open up MS Paint of all things? I don't know. It's because I'm nervous. That's the reason. Okay. So this Quaqua Vault has. You know it has Aqua Step. It has Brick Break. Oh, of course, it fucking does. It has Aerial Ace. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I should. Why? Why aren't I using the actual text thing that's built into MS Paint? That would make this a lot easier. Yeah, use that. Break. Break. Yes, I'm doing it halfway through. Don't. Okay, then it's got Aerial Ace. And then... Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner. Okay, so... Yeah. I'm, I'm taking this Pokemon by Pokemon. Okay, so those moves are best threat. Our best Pokemon to deal with Quackleval is what? I can't use small antis because of brick break. Yes. I will say <laughs> it Aries. immediately tears into water. So it's okay. just pure water type. <sighs> and you can expect it's aqua step to do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. But what the fuck do I have to deal with that then? I mean, Miss Mish has energy ball. If I go into Miss Mish, then it can't. It can't be brick breaked. Or, or do we use Damdo? Is Dando our secret threat for Quaquaval? <laughs> Would be. Imposter it up and then, like, use its fucking techniques against it? <laughs> I mean, theoretically, you could imposter into Palmot and use Electric Move on it. <laughs> ah, but th we'd, we'd have to ensure that we stay in on Palmot. Does it go Palmot yeah. immediately to Quackaball? Probably not. <sighs> the the orders are always different, depending on what you have out. Okay. Because the AI mm -hmm. does have some semblance of intelligence. So if we can do Palmot Dando, then that's a strat. But if we can't do Palmot Dando, then what the fuck do we do? Uh... You couldn't really- wow. <laughs> Quackable's a counter to everything else on her team. Wow. I do think Dando is the strat. I think we might just have to rely on trying to, like, either become Palmot or become Quackleball and see if we can just beat it up using its own moves. Wow, <clears throat> yeah, if... Yeah. The, uh... Yeah, you could definitely try that. I don't know what the fuck else to do for Quackleball. Uh, 
I just made you take away your uh, <laughs> electric type. Yeah. I think that's why we were thinking Luxalil in the first place, now that I'm remembering. Yeah, <sighs> that could be... could be smarter. <laughs> Uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't want to make you like if if Breloom's gonna be helpful to you. It would, but I. And now I'm trying to factor in strategies yeah. using mismatch, so I don't want to get rid of mismatch now. Yeah. Uh, if I can tear a Blinky, Blinky's got HP for days. <laughs> I was also thinking I'd be willing to switch Litter out, even though that's my fire type. Because I've got... <laughs> Seal isn't too much trouble. Would you be willing to switch Litter out? Yeah. Because I'm going to be real. Litter has not been pulling in his her freaking weight for me. <laughs> yeah. Gengar has continuously been outclassed by any other Pokemon I have on the team. Yikes. Which is weird, because Gengar is, like, really good. The only thing I'm thinking is... Okay, yeah, bring Luxalil back in. If that's okay. That's fine. Are you sure? It's just a backup for me at the this point. Okay. Um, Cause Lilligant is decently fast. Mhm. Mm and doesn't get confused. I th yeah, it should be fine. It's a special attacker, so I have another special attacker. Okay. I have okay. a bunch of physicals. Alright. That will just mean a little more grinding. I think on both of our ends. Yeah. Okay. So Quackaval, we've got Luxalil now. And we got her paw mot. What moves does paw mot have? Double shock. Double shock? Yes. Okay. I think it's a unique... Yeah, signature move. Uh, close combat. That's scary. Ice punch. Also scary. And quick attack. I'm gonna... Hmm. If I can use Mismish so that close combat won't hit. Mismish is pretty specially defensive. So I feel like Mismish is the best. thing there. Sorry, I'm like not progressing or grinding or anything. I just need to like no, cool. stat this out in my brain. Strategy meeting time. Yeah, basically. <sighs> 
<laughs> we still have Turo oh, after yeah. this. Um. Yeah, we have. We have hit. We have a lot after this. Luxalil oh, yeah, also entire... wouldn't be bad for Pomnot too. We have the entire area zero. Yeah, I know. And Turo does not fuck around. No, he does not. Okay, then there's Lycanroc. I'm honestly yeah. not too worried about Lycanroc, but I'll still write out the moves just so I know. <sighs> A cellar rock. So rock. Uh, drill run. Stone edge. And stealth rock. Small Antis should be able to easily deal with Lycan Rock. That shouldn't be an issue. I'm not terribly concerned about Small Antis' ability to deal with that. Okay, next we got Dadon Sparse. Yes. Dadon Sparse. What a silly name. I love it. Um, which has drill run, I remember you saying. Yep. Hyper drill or whatever. Yep. Um, Dragon rush. Dragon rush, that was the scary one. And coil. And coil. Okay. Mishmish, I think, should be able to deal with that through Levitate and such. If they can take the drill run, the dragon rush. I'm pretty sure they can. I hope. It's it's a okay. Well, it's an accuracy seventy five. Yeah, so, I mean, the real hope is that it just won't hit, but... Yeah. That's two moves that just won't be able to attack Miss Mish. Yeah. So, I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a win. Okay, uh, what else was there? Technically, technically three, because aren't ghosts also immune to poison? No, they can be oh. touched by poison. Okay. Okay, what else does she got? Uh, Gudra. Gudra, that was one. Dragon Pulse. Uh, uh my colors. Dragon Pulse. <clears throat> Muddy Water. Muddy water. Ice beam. Ice beam. Sludge bomb. Sludge bomb. I'm wanting to rely on Luxalil and Mismish for a lot of these, and that makes me a little nervous, but. If I could tear a small Antis, then small Antis can do this one. But if for whatever reason I can't tear us, or not small antis, uh, Swabita. Uh -huh. If I can't tear a Swabita for whatever reason, I think I need Luxalil. Because <laughs> Luxalil has played rough. Yep. But then again. Blinky. Hmm. 
But if I tear out Blinky, then Sludge Bomb will hurt a lot. This is true. Put Blinky down as a possibility anyways. Okay, and what's the last one that I'm missing? Orthworm. Fuck, that was it. I have nothing to do with that currently. And it's got Earthquake, you said. Yeah, Earthquake. Iron Tail. Iron Tail. Rock Blast. Yeah. Rock Blast. And Body Press. Is body press steel? Fighting. Okay. So the Miss Mish strat is absolutely Genius. ideal here. But for that, I very specifically need to tear a Miss Mish. No, I don't want to tear a Miss Mish. Because then body press can hit. Why can't Miss Mish learn a fucking fire move? It can learn Terra Blast, but I don't want to tear it because I don't want Body Press to be able to hit. What's its Terra? Fire? It's Terra's fire. So Rock Blast would also hurt then, too. Yeah, thankfully you wouldn't have to deal with Earthquake, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm free from Earthquake no matter what, just because of Levitate. But, shit. Well, let's see. I think it's because best not steel, tearing it. Probably. Uh, yikes. Well, do you have anything that can learn ground move? No. Not ground moves. That heals it. Any? No. Fighting. Fighting is your only other choice. Of course it is. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> this ain't looking good. Mm -hmm. well, unfortunately, it is what it is. Yeah, honestly. I am going to take a look at what the auctions are today. Because maybe I'll get some feathers. Okay, well, now that I've rough sketched that out in my brain and panicked about it more, back to actual grinding. And here I was like, ah, Penny will be fine. We'll go straight into Nimona. Everything will be great. Hunky Dory. Now we're likely not getting to Nimona until next time. Definitely. Considering it's already like almost two hours. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Into the mm. desert for me. By the way, folks, I did tweet about it, but I'm gonna be, like, streaming next to nothing this next week. Yeah, I saw that. Just busy, busy. <laughs> yeah, which I apologize because I'm- the only streams I'm going to be doing are gonna be solo ones because I just, like, I'll only have, no like, two days worth of streams. Can't afford to- <laughs> Devote extra eff uh, extra time. Well, it's just like I I wanna I wanna continue in some of the games I'm playing, but I also just like it, it's such a busy week for me next week. Right. That it's like I'm literally I'm gonna be able to stream Wednesday, and then I've got like the VTuber awards next week, and that's. That's it. <laughs> what the fuck? I just, okay. So, 
I just went from a flying one star terror raid that was a. What's the thing that evolves into Greedent? I forget oh, what it's uh, called. Oh, uh, Squovit? Uh, yeah, Squovit. I just came from a flying Squovit crystal that was uh -huh. a one star, landed at this ground one, also a one star Squovit. Oh. Damn. What the hell? <laughs> But no, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a busy month for you. Yeah, I mean, it'll be a busy month, but this next week in particular, like, it's... It's not even, like... Well, some of it's fun stuff, but... I've got, like, a workshop on Tuesday. I've got an appointment on Thursday. Uh, I'm going to see a musical with my mom on Friday. So that's, that's going to be, like, really good. But that'll be fun. Like and a then holiday musical. Uh, no, just sound of music. Mm, okay. It's coming to our city. Both of us have never seen it live, but she like, loves the movie. And yeah, I think I've I, seen the movie one. I uh, bought tickets for her as. Uh, well, that'll be fun. It was a birthday gift. But I think it's also a bit of a Christmas gift because I'm born. Your gift is that you your birthday gift is that you get to go. Your Christmas gift is that I'm going with you. <laughs> well, I intended to buy her dinner as a Christmas right. gift as well, but then she's like, Oh, well I'll buy you dinner as like your birthday supper. And I'm like, God damn it, Mom. <laughs> Cause my birthday's coming up here too. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I also made a tweet about it earlier. But my family has a really good sense of humor. Um, uh -huh. and <laughs> I got an invite from my mom today for a WhatsApp, like, you know, group text thing that was just yeah. called The Loser Posse. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I've got a notification on my phone that was just like, Mom invited wow. you to The Loser Posse. <laughs> wow, thanks, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Glad you, uh, glad you, glad you see me that way. It's, it's all my siblings. It's not just me, but... <laughs> I just see us like that. Well, this is the same woman that, like, you know, I've openly joked about her being the worst mom in the world, so. Like, we, it's it's not serious in the slightest. Yeah. No, I get it. It's just, it's all good fun. Yeah. Heyo, also there's no running from Nimona, you can only brace for impact! <laughs> yeah, that really do be how it feels right now. You cannot run, you can only... You can only prepare Ooh. yourself. Dando is evolving. Sandcastle. We have no Pokemon that can take on this fire four star. I feel like there's a lot of things good against fire types. I'm just, I don't have. Yeah, anything. I definitely feel that sometimes. Feathers. <sighs> All the feathers. I need big raids, though. I need big raids I can actually fight against. Ugh. No, I didn't mean to run into this frickin' rookity. Rookity, rookity, rookity. Rookity, 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 dee dee. Where do I want to go? We're in more 
upgrades that I haven't checked. Over here. Yeah. A Dragon Dawn fan? Can I beat that up? I don't know. I don't yeah, have probably. anything that's good against dragon types! <laughs> yes, you do. Not really! I have another dragon type. Yeah, but Dawnfan doesn't know any dragon moves. <sighs> it's also a flying type, so it's immune to ground moves. That's true. But just wait, it's gonna know Stone Edge or some shit. It probably will, because I'm pretty sure Dawnfan's a rock type. No, it's just ground. It's just ground? Okay. Yeah. Maybe rock slide. You know, the usual rock moves. <sighs> How long do we want to grind for, time. by the way? Uh, I'm good with stopping at two hours. I will probably do some off stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning once we're done stream to just finish grinding. Or at least do a little bit more until I get tired of it. Yeah, I'll have some time tomorrow. Okay. I'm not doing any streams tomorrow. I am! So if folks want to see me and Arknon play Bread and Fred tomorrow... Uh... Hey, I didn't catch it last time. What is that? Oh my god! Okay, so... It's basically... It's an indie game that I had my eye on for like a while. Uh -huh. You know games kind of like Jump King? Or like yes. getting over it type games. Yeah. yeah. It's basically that, but there's two of you. The like and you're doing it. Based rage games. Yeah, and you're doing it together. So it's like the entire goal is just climb the mountain. But Okay. You've gotta do that as a pair. Okay. And the way you do it is like kinda swinging from things with like little grappling hooks and it is fun it's just like also one of those games that because it's so easy to fuck up it's very easy to get annoyed by i think the closest thing to that that i've played was heave ho yeah arkna and i are doing it the cheatsy way where we added checkpoints well, I mean, to be fair, yeah, some of those games need it. Yeah, no, that's the reason why I'm I don't play games like that is because I'm like, if I were or to get decently far and just fall down a significant amount, I would like lose my shit. Uninstall immediately, yeah. Believe me, I'm right there with you. <laughs> we are we are what they call casual. <laughs> well, I'm also like, I've gone on record saying that I don't... I, I play games for fun. I don't play games for a challenge. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> it was just, I, I... I bought it for Arknon because it was on his wish list and then... He bought it for me because it was on my wish list, and then we were like, oh yeah, we should play this together. That would be fun. We've done a lot of rage inducing things with each other. This is a good way to continue that. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's put our friendship to the test. Come on. I just wanna kill I just wanna kill the Stomp fan. That's all I wanna do. Please. Yeah, you've got it. It's oh, fine. fucking thank you. Oh, you almost out of time. I was like, literally, probably sliver. five seconds left. Yikes. Okay. Well then, we are at the two hour mark, so we can end things there. Yep. As long as you're not in yep, the raid yep. or anything. Nope. Beauty. I'm good to go. Okay, well thank you for joining us, friends. I hope you all oh. had a fun time. 
I hope you all had a better time than Apple. Yeah. <laughs> better time than me, you know, being in everything is worse now state for a while and furiously trying to strategize for the Mona. <laughs> yeah. Now that I don't have Hacks Edge. But yeah, it is what it is. It would have really helped for the Steel type, but that's... The Steel type, yeah. Like, uh, I mean... I think I would have just outspeeded and one shot it immediately. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the hope. Even then, I don't think I think you I think you would have been able to survive one earthquake. Yeah, maybe. I'd be scared. But, anyway. but uh. regardless, friends, thank you for joining. Uh, like I said, I'm streaming tomorrow uh, with Arknab. I think we're doing around 1 p.m. CST, so y'all can catch me then. Uh, I know you're not doing anything tomorrow, Aimless, but do you have anything coming up in the next few days, stream-wise? Uh, yeah, not tomorrow, but keep an eye out. Uh, the schedule will be up, and I almost always do uh, after work uh, Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke on Mondays now. Uh, we will be continuing Pokemon White, which we just started, and uh, have been having a interesting time with. <laughs> interesting uh, time. I am remembering just how bizarre <laughs> it is compared to like all the other po like generic Pokemon games. Yeah, I can believe that. And that it gives you like three. Comp it gives you yeah, like three people right out of the gate who are considered quote-unquote rivals uh and it it's i forgot how interesting that game actually that story is yeah it's a super neat story it's one of my favorites but let's just hope our encounters are better <laughs> fingers crossed yeah. do you have anyone in mind who you would like to raid uh i have not looked do you have somebody? Uh, I know a few folks. I see Sprig. I see Ruby. Uh, Kiroiha. What about you? I mean, if I were to go through every one of my lists, that we'd be here for a while. Oh, right. I follow so, so many people. In mind? Um, we could do Hero. Kiro was hanging out in my chat earlier. We could raid Kiro. Okay. Plan some Monster Hunter stories too. Wings of Ruin. Ooh. Which is really really fun. It's it's kind of Pokemon esque, so you know. Yeah, I was I saw when I saw that coming out, I was like, "What is this?" It's basically like Monster Hunter monsters, but Pokemon. <laughs> right. Let me just, let me just make sure I spelled that right. All right, folks, nope. we're gonna send the love over to Kiro. I hope you had fun hanging out with us. And uh, if you haven't yet, make sure to check out Aimless, because Aimless is lovely, even if he does kill all of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bye, friends. Have a great rest of your afternoon, evening, day, night. Yep. Whatever it is. Wonderful... Hope you have a wonderful time, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.